Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on plastic analysis. Let us read the question one time and draw the diagram. Determine the collapse load for the fixed beam AB of a span L at point C 0.2L distance from the left support A. There is a concentrated load of 1.25 W and another concentrated load of W is acting at point D which is 0.25 L from the support B. The plastic movement of resistance of the beam is MB. In this beam, in the fixed end A, we have a plastic hinge and in the fixed end B, we have another plastic hinge. The third plastic hinge can be under the point load in the point C or under the point load in the point D. So there will be two mechanisms. Now let us make the first mechanism. In this mechanism, let us assume that the hinge occurs under the point load in the point B. Let us keep this angle as theta 1, this angle as theta 2. So this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. Let us keep the displacement due to this load as delta. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 1 is equal to delta upon 0.2L. The value of tan theta 1 will be very small. So we can approximately take tan theta 1 is equal to theta 1. In this case, we can take theta 1 is equal to delta upon 0.2L. From that, we can get the relation for delta which is equal to 0.2L theta 1. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 2 is equal to delta upon 0.8L. We know that tan theta 2 is approximately equal to theta 2. So for theta 2, we can apply delta upon 0.8L. We can eliminate L. Finally, for theta 2, we are getting 0.25 theta 1. Now, let us find the internal work done. In the fixed end A, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1. In the fixed end D also, we are having a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2. Under the point load, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. To find the internal work done, we have to add these three values. We know that theta 2 is equal to 0.25 theta 1. Instead of theta 2, we can apply 0.25 theta 1. After adding these three values, we are getting 2.5 MB theta 1. Now we are going to find the external work done. For that, we have to find the height under the point load W. Let us keep this height as delta 1 at the distance of 0.8L the height is delta so for 0.8L it is delta but we want the height at the distance of 0.25L so we have to multiply 0.25L with this we can eliminate L after the calculation we are getting delta 1 is equal to 0.3125 delta. Now let us find the external work done. We have to multiply the load 1.25 W 
with the height delta then we have to multiply the load w with the height 0.3125 delta to get the external work done we have to add these two after adding we are getting these we can apply delta is equal to 0 0.L theta 1. Finally, for the external work done, we are getting 0 0.3125 WCL theta 1. Now, let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta 1 and we can take 0 0.3125 and L on the other side. So they will come in the denominator 2.5 upon 0 0.3125 is 8. So for WC we are getting 8 MB upon L. Now let us see the mechanism 2. In this mechanism we are assuming that the third plastic hinge occurs under the point load W. Let us keep this angle as theta 1, this angle as theta 2. So this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. Now let us take this triangle. Using this triangle, we can get theta 1 is equal to delta upon 0 0.75L and delta is equal to 0 0.75 L theta 1. Now let us take this triangle. Using this triangle, we can get theta 2 is equal to delta upon 0 0.25 L. For delta, we can apply this. We can eliminate L. Finally, for theta 2, we are getting 3 theta 1. Now we are going to find the internal work done. In the fixed end A, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1. In the fixed end D also, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2. Under the load W, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. To find the internal work done, we have to add these three. For theta 2, we can apply 3 theta 1. After adding the three values, we are getting 8 MB theta 1. Now, we are going to find the external work done. For that, we have to find the height under the point load 1.25 W. Let us keep this height as a delta 1 at the distance of 0.75 L. The height is delta. So for 0.75 L, it is delta. But we need the height at the distance of 0.2 L. So we have to multiply 0.2L with this. Finally, for delta 1, we are getting 0.2 delta upon 0.75. Now let us find the external work done. We have to multiply this load with this height and this load with this height. Then we have to add these two. For delta, we can apply this. Finally, for the external work done, we are getting this. Now, let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta 1. Finally, for WC, we are getting 8 MB upon L. From the mechanisms, we have to select the minimum value for WC, but in our case, in the first and second mechanisms, we have got the same value 8 MB upon L. So we have to take 8 MB upon L as the collapse load. 
now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video